Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the script that I wrote for Endu 2. Essentially, it will convert your normal maps into color maps very quickly and easily so that you can mess with them later. Um, first things first, let me go ahead and show you how it works. Uh, basically, all you got to do, run the script. And you can see it's automating. Bam, we got a, we got a color mask. You can use this in DDo. You can use this in whatever program you want, but now you don't have to manually generate it from your normal map and you can actually see it created a new document. So it's non-destructive. All right, so um, let's go over how to install the script. Uh, assuming that you've downloaded it from my site, uh, polyben.com, um, basically you have two choices. You can either drop the JSX script in your program files Adobe CS6 preset scripts folder like I have here and if you do that then it's going to be in your scripts menu under file. Um, you do not have to do that if you'd rather just run the script uh, as long as you have a document open in Photoshop running you can double click it and it'll warn you that hey this script's about to take over Photoshop. Are you, you sure you want to do that? You just say yes, and you see it'll pop up. Um, so there's a few different options. You have the file name that you want the new file to be. You have manual color selection, which uh, originally I showed you without that. It just randomly will pick colors. And make background. Make background essentially is going to make a fill layer for the whole background of the document. Um, sometimes in Endu, you actually are just using their background fill layer right here and so you may not have an element that actually would be colored in if you do not have this selected. Uh, in most cases I think people are going to want to keep both of these selected. Um, so let's go ahead and see what happens with manual color selection. Go ahead and go through. It's creating the new document and converting. And you see it hides the other layers and it says, hey, this element, what color do you want it? And you pick your color. Let's just go ahead and make it purple. And then the next layer element comes up. And we'll go ahead and make that green. And then the bolts that I made, we'll make that yellow. And now for this text, I want to show you a really nice feature that I made sure that it could actually do. Um, if you go to color libraries, it will actually work. Now I haven't actually created my own color palette yet, but you very well could create a color palette for your art pipeline, um, for your art style, and name them and actually have, in particular, this yellow be rusted metal. And then you could hand it out to any of your, your artists and they would all be using the exact same colors so that when you plug your maps into DDo, they'll all be identical. So we'll go ahead and we'll use that. This is brown. Then we'll go back to the picker. We'll use this nasty green. This. And there you go. Now this is quite possibly the most ugly color map I've ever seen, but it does work. And obviously it's dependent on the colors you pick. You can always go back and change any color you want at any time. And um, I chose this particular normal map on purpose because I do want you guys to understand there are a few things right now that I, I still need to work on with this script. One in particular is uh, gradients. Um, most of you know that gradients for color masks are just bad. You, you just usually do not want them. And especially when working with DDo, you're going to run into a lot of issues if you have that. Um, right now, the easiest way to fix it would literally just be to manually select it and cut it out. So either, you know, make this entirely green or entirely black. Um, I'm considering in a future release adding a checkbox in the options to auto do that for you. Uh, most likely it will fill in this gradient 100% to this color because that's the easiest to do. If you have requests, obviously um, go ahead and ask. Uh, other than that, I think you're good to go. Um, hopefully you enjoy the script. Uh, if you have any issues, let me know. I'll try and work through them with you. Have fun.